Okay, my camera struggles at this temperature. It's negative 12 degrees. I got down to that at least. And it was a difficult... I didn't have a lot of difficulty sleeping. It was more difficulty moving around uh, outside of the car. Um, because, uh, well, uh, it's just... Every, uh, I, I can move like every few blocks or so. And, and then I'll uh, start to overheat because I'm I'm, I'm kind of overdressed except for my face. My face uh, can struggle. I have to I have to cover my face completely. Um, but moving around and uh, is is a struggle. Uh, I need to like stop and um, cool down a little bit, and and that's that's the difficult part. I. I'm dressed uh, a little bit better for like minimal movement, where I don't produce a lot of uh, movement or, or burn a lot of calories. I just uh, I try to try to dress for that. But when I have to move, like say a mile, even I need to sit down for about fif 15 minutes or so, or even lie down, just to just to get the the body temperature down. I find it a lot easier uh, to to work on resting more than layering off and on my clothes. It's 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 more frustrating to have to pull off clothes when I start overheating, because when I stop overheating, putting them back on, it really takes a, a special attention uh, to the weather uh, to to layer on and off. Uh, I find that very frustrating. I'd rather just take my time and rest uh, as, as fr frequently as needed because I mean if I have to layer off I have to carry those clothes too and that's that's a bit of a hassle um, I have several layers on and uh, they just yeah they're, they're just there Co going in on of buildings like the gas station is kind of is frustrating too I mean uh, I have to take off all these layers when I go in so I don't overheat and then get them back on so I don't freeze because there's just a huge difference between the inside of building and outside. I mean you're looking at like a 70 degrees uh, environment inside a building and it's negative 12 outside. Just that door is the difference between the temperatures and and you have to adjust quickly for that that's such a huge huge divide it's almost yeah, like the the difference in the, in the environment throughout the year when you get up to 90 degrees or so in the summer and then down to negative 30 in the winter outside you're you're dealing with that just entering and <clears throat> leaving buildings but uh, so far, my, my 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 gear seems okay. I, I, I slept uh, pretty good last night. Um, I, I didn't. I don't really have any complaints. Um, strange too. I I I, I have a. I, I'm working with a diet change this year. Um, I I think eating more sugar is is helping. I I'm a proponent against sugar. Trying to eat more natural foods, but wow. Apple pies, pumpkin pies, blueberry pies. I've been eating them a lot more. Um, like last night, I had a whole pumpkin apple pie. I had a whole apple pie uh, to myself, and I mixed it in with uh, some bran. I might even have it around here somewhere. It's really cold on my fingers to dig around, so I'm gonna have to take a break. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know, it's either above or below. This should not be it. Yeah, this is just a bag. But it's like this, a bag of bran. I'll just throw the pie in there and mix it with the bran, and then whatever bran sticks to that pie, the, the, I'll, I'll eat those pieces. And I really feel a, a warming sensation. I, it seems like it can at least give me another 10 degrees of colder weather to handle. It's, it's nice. I don't know how fat I'm going to get off of it, but um, if it's going to keep me warm, that's uh, what I have to focus on.